for me with training and nutrition and fitness as a whole, you've got to enjoy it. We ride around with the bandless tough, we the gangsters world. I've always been into sport uh, when I was a kid. I was in sort of every sort of sports team at school. Uh, football, rugby, basketball, athletics, hockey. I did everything, you name it, I was in the team. Um, but I was always pretty small. I did a lot of running around and not very much eating. And uh, everyone sort of grew past me and surpassed me. So any, any attributes I had, like speed and strength, dwindled and everyone else ended up bigger and stronger than me. Uh, when I got to college, I didn't really join any of the sports teams and I felt it was because I was a bit smaller than everyone else. One of my friends used to go to the gym and used to get guest pass every month, so I started to go with him. So I was literally just going once a month to begin with and I got really into it. I was small, I was quite shy, so I used to wait until late in the evening, until about 8pm. So it was nice and quiet and I used to just go. But that was about eight years ago now. Um, so obviously I was 16, 17 when I started. Um, and I've just gradually progressed. Um, the progression has just always been, it's, it's slow, but it comes. I just really enjoy the training. I always have done. And uh, making changes in my nutrition was always a big thing, was making sure I actually ate rather than just running around all the time. So getting the food in is really important. And nutrition is obviously really important. Um, there's many different ways to diet as such. Um, there's different ways to go about it. Clean eating, if it fits your macro, if paleo, keto, there's all these different diets. But the most important thing is if you're trying to lose weight, to be in a calorie deficit. If you're trying to gain weight, just to be in a calorie surplus. That's the only, only two way about it. It doesn't matter what approach you take. So looking on that basis, then the most effective diet for you is the one you can stick to. It could be a really good diet, it could lose loads of weight or put on loads of weight, whatever your target is. But if you can only do it for two or three weeks, then it's a rubbish diet, you know. So the best diet is the one that works for you, one that you can stick to, one that you can adhere to. Um, for me, when it comes to prepping down, I will just gradually reduce my calorific intake. Um, so usually it comes from the carbs and fats. I try and keep the protein around the same. So it's just my carbs that I'll gradually, and my fats that I'll gradually cut down. I'm not so much focused on titles and awards and things like that. For me, it's just trying to enjoy it as much as possible. And obviously, as I say, helping with my training, giving me something to target, something to aim for. So obviously I use a, a few supplements. Uh, the main one for me, I think at the moment, definitely is black blood. That gives me a nice big kick before my workouts. Definitely on leg day, I make sure I get that in. Uh, intra workout and post workout. So intra, I normally have the BCA zero, which is great to have while I'm training. And then I will follow up my workout with the ISO way zero. If you don't enjoy something, you're not going to stick to it. So it's finding ways that you can enjoy what it is you're doing to make it last. It's it's a, a marathon, not a sprint. You want to make that those progressions. It's going to take a long time, so you just have to stick at it. If you're doing something you don't enjoy, that's never going to happen. Whether it doesn't have to be training to look good, it could be strength training, it could be training to feel better. There's loads of different reasons why people train and why they eat healthy. So you've got to find the right reason for you.